Hey guys, Matt here for Thought Spark. Now, have you ever wondered what happens to our body fat when we lose it? When we lose weight, where does the fat go? Now, I've been going to the gym for a number of years now, and I've always asked myself this question, especially in my early days. A little bit of a different video topic for this channel, but I think it's still a great topic nonetheless, so let's get into it. Firstly, when we step on the scale and we notice a decrease in our weight, this could be from a few different things. This could be from water loss, this could be muscle loss, or even a drastic haircut can show up on the scale, which I actually need a haircut. When this number goes down on the scale, this is weight loss. To better burn fat, you need to ramp up your body's metabolism. And this is done by exercise and good nutrition. It's true what they say, folks. Diet and exercise is key. It's all you need. The diet part is marginally but truly just a little bit better than the exercise part of the equation. The truth is, for people who want to rid their body of all fat, it's pretty much impossible. Your body needs it to survive. It's pretty much indispensable to your body just like bone, blood, and muscle. This is because fat is a delivery system for hormones in your body. It's also essential for brain function, muscle growth, and a lot more. So you can't exactly cut fat out of your system completely. So where does it go? A study by Australian physicist Robert Meerman and University of New South Wales professor Andrew Brown found that the majority of body fat is lost as carbon dioxide through exhalation. The research published in the British Medical Journal suggests that a lot of doctors and dietitians still believe the misconception that body fat is lost by being converted into heat, energy, or muscle. But in reality, as Meerman points out, it's simply lost into thin air. So when I first had this thought spark into my mind one day during a workout, my first assumption was number two. It must be lost that way, right? Well, that's not entirely true. And I say that because the study also concluded that only about 20% of fat loss is done through the process of urine, feces, tears, sweat, all combined, 20%. And the other 80%, like I mentioned previously, is converted into carbon dioxide and exhaled. Okay, so are you ready to do some deep breathing with me? Well, stay with me here. Don't hyperventilate and pass out because it's not quite that easy. It works on a little more complicated level than that. It's based on your metabolism. So if you ramp up your metabolism, through vigorous exercise and having a good diet, also keeping up with drinking a lot of water, and you commit to that, you will see results. It may be hard, just stick with it. Also, is it bad if I had my birthday cake last week and I ate the whole thing? I mean, technically I only had one piece, right? So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Thought Spark. Um, I encourage you to check out the links if you're interested in further reading on this topic. Um, I'll also have links to the uh, studies that I referred to in this video as well in the description. Also, if you haven't already, hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. Um, subscribe for more if you haven't done so already. And share this video with uh, somebody who may enjoy my sort of content. Um, it really helps the channel out. I appreciate everybody for watching and sharing, of course. It uh, really helps me out a lot. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos. I hope to explore many different topics like this. Uh, a lot of more space related stuff on this channel, so stay tuned for that. I've got lots more coming. Um, check out some other videos I did over here, the top and bottom. Also, hit the subscribe button somewhere here in the middle. And as always, thank you for watching and stay curious.